The materials that we'll be using today for quantitative transfer include a pipette bulb, a clean volumetric pipette, a beaker dedicated to deionized water, a beaker for your stock solution, a beaker for waste, a volumetric flask with an appropriately sized cap, your stock solution that you'll be diluting, deionized water, a small pipette, and Kim wipes. Pour a small amount of your stock solution into your beaker dedicated to your stock solution. Rinse the beaker well and then discard your excess solution into the waste. Pour more stock solution into your beaker. Pour a small amount of deionized water into your beaker dedicated to your deionized water. I won't be rinsing my beaker because I'm using deionized water. However, if you're using a different solution, or if you so wish, you should repeat the same process that you did as with your stock solution. Take up stock solution into your volumetric pipette past the volumetric line. Discard of this solution into the waste beaker. Push out any excess solution with your pipette bulb. Transfer an appropriate amount of solution into your volumetric flask. Record your procedures in your laboratory notebook. Using your small pipette, transfer deionized water into the volumetric flask to the point where the meniscus sits on top of the volumetric mark. Cap your volumetric flask and invert multiple times. It's usually a good idea to invert around 13 times. If you'll be preparing a solution from solid that you're dissolving in water, use a glass stirring rod to dissolve it into the beaker. Carefully rinse your stir rod directly into the volumetric flask using deionized water. Transfer your solution. If you'll be using a funnel, be sure to rinse your funnel afterwards. Rinse your beaker that you dissolved your solid in. Transfer this rinse into your volumetric flask. Rinse the sides of your volumetric flask and dilute to the mark as you did before. Record your procedure in your laboratory notebook.